When you fall sick, when your kids fall sick, what's one sure shot way of boosting the immune system to help you recover without the heavy dependency on medication? Now, whether it's a cold, whether it's a cough, whether it's a cancer, whether it's any kind of sickness, there's one thing you can do to enable yourself to start healing quickly and effectively. It's inexpensive, it's practically free, but it's a little difficult to do. And today we're going to understand what that one thing is that you can do for your children and what you can do for yourself or anyone that you know who's sick and going through disease right now. We all know it, but it's about time we understand how it works in the human body. When you are sick or you're looking at preventing sickness or your child is sick or has sinus or asthma or colds and coughs, the first thing that we do is we want to reach out for medication today. And we all understand that medication may be necessary. I'm not saying don't medicate. Medicate when necessary. But there's one thing that you can do to boost the most powerful and intelligent system in your human body to fight disease and to fight bacteria, pathogens, viruses, and funguses. That is called your immune system. Your immune system is not a single organ. Your immune system is an expanse, it's a complete expanse of trillions of cells that span over your entire body designed to protect you, to fight for you, to, en to envelope bacteria, fungi, viruses and pathogens and keep you healthy. <clears throat> when you're sick, the one thing that you should look at giving up is white sugar. Now, we all know white sugar is bad for us when it comes to weight gain, when it comes to diabetes, when it comes to cardiovascular diseases and cancer. But it's about time we understand why white sugar depletes your immune system. Now, we've all heard of endorphins. Endorphins are the happy hormones. Endorphins are morphine-like chemicals produced by your body when we exercise, when we get excited, when we eat spicy food, when we do the things that we love, and when we eat white sugar. Sugar boosts endorphins for a short period of time. But now the problem with endorphins is it's great for us to feel good, but we don't know the damage it's doing to us in our body. So when your child is sick or when you're sick, the first thing you need to do is stop white sugar. Let's understand what happens. How do we get sick when there's a bacteria, when there's a fungus, when there's a viral, when there's a, when there's a pathogen that enters our body? Now our immune system will immediately produce a kind of white blood cell called a phagocyte. Phagocytes are designed to rush to that bacteria or that foreign invader and envelope them and try to kill them and remove them from the human body. We need those phagocytes and those white blood cells to do their job. Now, these phagocytes or white blood cells or your neutrophils, which you'll see in your blood reports, are the first responders to bacteria, viruses, funguses, infections, and pathogens in the human body. Now, they are powered by vitamin C in your own body from the fruits that you eat, the vegetables that you eat, your nuts, your seeds, all of the goodness from nature that you put in your body that's rich in vitamin C. Your white blood cells use this as fuel to go and capture and attack all of those bacteria, pathogen and those viruses. Now here's the problem with sugar. When sugar breaks down into glucose in the human body, it shares the same molecular structure as vitamin C. So what happens is when you have excess sugar in your body, these white blood cells start being occupied with glucose and sugar rather than vitamin C that it needs to effectively fight your disease or effectively fight the bacteria, pathogens and viruses in your body. So what happens is instead of getting vitamin C to fuel itself, the white blood cells are getting sugar which ferments into glucose and which actually depletes immunity by 40 to 50%. There are enough of studies showing out, showing out there, showing how when you consume one can of aerated drink, which is pumped with high corn fructose syrup, it is enough to deplete your immunity to almost 50% for the next 10 to 12 hours. So when we consume sugar when we're sick, or we consume sugar when we're healthy, it's depleting our immunity, and we're living with low immunity, compromised immunity, which is the most dangerous thing today, considering the polluted air that we're breathing, the contaminated food that we're eating, and the contaminated water that we're drinking. We can't be living with low immunity in a world like today. But when we increase our sugar intake, or we feed our children those aerated drinks, all those processed foods which are loaded with sugar, we are depleting their immunity. They are falling sick because of us and the habits and the food that we are inculcating in them. So the moment you cut out sugar from your diet when you're sick or your child is sick, you automatically give the immune system a boost it requires to help your child or you heal. 
your white blood cells need about 50% more vitamin C when the body is infected with disease, bacteria, pathogens, or viruses. Now, if it's got more sugar in the body, you are automatically disabling your own immune system to protect you. And that doesn't make sense. And that is why sugar is so dangerous. But so when your children are sick, when you're sick, I know we have all sympathy and pity and we want to make ourselves happy or our kids happy by giving them something that's sweet or treating them. You're destroying them more than you are in terms of healing them. It's important for us to draw these boundaries and be a little bit disciplined with them and say, when you get better, things will change. But right now, you're sick. Something's going on in your body and we need to support it with the right nutrition and the right lifestyle to heal. So you find vitamin C in your fruits and your vegetables and your nuts and your seeds and all the colored vegetables in garlic and mushrooms and all of these things that nature's given us, which is everything that we need to be eating on a day-to-day -day balance. So when your kids are sick, you need to be giving them more nutritious foods rich in vitamin C. I'm a fan of supplementing vitamin C if we don't have access to great food, pure Elemental vitamin C will boost your immune system to help you fight. But you can get that from fruits and vegetables and everything that nature's given us. So you need to understand that each and every one of you have that power in you right now to boost the immune system by depleting, cutting out sugar completely. You cut out sugar, your immune system boosts up. You put sugar in the body, you've compromised your, your immunity and you've compromised your ability to heal effectively. And that's when we need drugs. That's when we need heavy antibiotics, which is why people who are going through cancer, sugar is a complete no because you're depleting immune system in a body which is, already has a compromised immune system. You can't have cancer in a body which has a strong immunity. Only a weak immunity will allow disease to come into the body, which is why sugar is a complete no, no matter how difficult. And I understand it's difficult for you to give up that habit of sugar, especially when you're sick. You need that to produce endorphins, those chemical like morphine, you know, transmitters that make you feel good about yourself. But you got to try. You got to try to heal. You got to try to get better without suffering, without the dependency on heavy drugs, which are making you sicker and sicker. And one way of doing that is by giving up sugar for that period of time. Go low, give it up, get that willpower going, get that motivation that I want to heal. And it's only that white poison, that white drug sugar that you've got to keep out and give your immunity everything it needs to function with its own brilliance and its own intelligence to heal you. So that's why when it comes to children, you've got to keep their sugar intake low. You have to. It's addictive. You as an adult, you can't stop and break the addiction. So imagine children who don't have all their motor and sensory skills completely developed like you. They're addicted and that's why they want more and more. And as parents, it's our responsibility to draw that boundary, to draw that line. Giving sugar doesn't mean you love them more. It doesn't. There are other ways to love a child. There are other ways to give and make them feel loved and appreciated. It doesn't have to be sugar. So if you, your child is suffering, you want to prevent them and give them the strong base and strong platform of good health. You want to keep white sugar to the minimum because it is only destroying them. It is only destroying them. The happiness that you see when they're licking on that ice cream or eating that chocolate which brings joy to your face when you see a happy child are those endorphins which get you know, spiked up because of the sugar and after a while it's down and then children get into tantrums and they want more and more and more. So if you're sick, if you want to prevent yourself from being sick, you've got to focus on immunity, the first and last line of defense in the human body. And everyone has that inexpensive technique right now to boost immunity. Right now, this second, you get off sugar or reduce sugar and you will start healing, period. You will start healing. Why? It's simple because you give your white blood cells everything it needs to protect you, to heal you, and to prevent you from getting disease. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.